Hello, my name is Melissa Mariano. I'm a fourth year at Unicom, and I will be presenting the Doctor of Patients Award. Medical training is a very long and arduous process. So on behalf of my classmates, I'd like to thank all the family, friends, and mentors who've helped us along the way. We could not have made it this far without your support, guidance, and most importantly, patience. This Doctor of Patients Award recognizes loved ones, particularly life partners, for their time and dedication during these challenging years of training. The recipients of this award are Andalip Ahmed, Archana Ananda Krishnan, Sarah B. Asherman, Paul Bellafiore, James Carter, John Casey, Olympia Chopti, John Creed, Catherine G. Croce, Brandon Cross, Jenna DaCosta, Richard Dante, Brianna Davis, Viviana Domorodsky, Victoria Duty, John Eaton, Allison Engel, Nicole Ethan, Casey Fapiano, Sarah Fori Pettit, Sean Patrick Furlong, Yagul Ganendran, Nicole George, Nadia Glazina, Leah C. Graham, Jack E. Graves, Samuel Green, Megan Hamill, Sarah Hansen, Cahal Hardiman, Abigail Hatch, Chris Hill, Susan Embriano, Stephen Ives, Catherine Jacques, Gazala Jaffrey, Ali Jalil, Lance Jondrow, Tyler Jarvis, Robert Kalagian, George Cassis, Katie M. Koenigs, Megan Kramer, Richard Lamb, Joshua Langevin, Philip Lee, John Jack Lewis, Madison L. Longfellow, Kara Ludwig, Adam Luck, Andy Mai, Radhika Mulhotra, Eric Mallory, Vincent Mariano, Emily Marsters, Annie McGregor, Michael William Mello, Edward Moreau, Kelsey Murdoch, Sarah Murphy, Louis Negri, Alyssa Nicotra, Gretchen Nunoski, Hannah Noriega, Matthew Obergfell, Sarah Emily O'Connell, Patrick O'Reilly, D. Patel, Keyshawn Patel, Julia P.K., Jeffrey Poulin, Rachel Carey Prowse, Mohammed Punjwani, Shohoti Rahman, Natasha Rathlev, Kelsey Redwants, Joe Robinson, Jordan Reimer, Nathaniel Schreiber, Christopher Sedgwick, Emily Silberstein, Johanna Silvestri, Anna Smith, Ty Souders, Harmony Stratton, Elise Tiedelman, Aaron Thomas, Miha Trin, Fabiola Vasquez Rios, Stephanie Vogel, Joel Walker, Michelle Ward, Hyanna Willie, Erica Zahina, 
Alisa Zalis, Rolando Jeffrey Zonia, and Jordan Zucker. Thank you so much. The W. Hadley Hoyt Jr. DO Award, sponsored by the family and friends of W. Hadley Hoyt Jr., given in recognition of dedication to service in the osteopathic profession and commitment to lifelong learning in the healing arts. This year's recipient is someone who has been involved in the EDACT activities, has been very involved in care for marginalized individuals, and has a lifelong mission of learning healing, and providing care. This year's recipient is Stephanie Elizabeth Nanoski. The Donna Jones Mortsugo Award, given by the American Osteopathic Foundation, the criterion, is for the partner who best exemplifies the role of the professional partner while being a person in their own right. This year's individual that we are proud to honor is, has been a consummate supporter for their partner all throughout medical school. From applying to schools, moving to Maine, and then to the clinical campus site for clinical rotations, and now adapting to supporting this individual as they have learned the outcomes of the res residency application process, Harmony has done it all while helping to raise their son and to continue to build her own career as a primary care physician. According to Sam, Harmony and I met in June of 2013 at the Peace Corps Connect Conference, the first ever national gathering of returned Peace Corps volunteers, which took place in Boston. She was behind me in line for lunch at the Boloco Burrito Shop in Boston's Longwood area. In talking with her, I found out that she had served in the Peace Corps more than a few years after graduating college, as I had also done, and she had gone to medical school later in life, as I was hoping to do. At the time I met her, she was just starting her fourth year of med peds residency. I thought she would be a great professional contact. She has been, and so much more. We were married in April 2015. Oscar was born in March 2017. And I started at Unicom in July of 2017. We are very, very pleased to recognize Harmony, Elizabeth, Caton, Stratton, MD, MPH, as this year's recipient of the Donna Jones Mortsugo Award. Our next award is the Sigma Sigma Phi Honor Society signaling outstanding academic achievement in service. Our, award, our recipients today are Kareem Abdel Jalil, Nicole Anastasio, Victoria Berger, Seth Butler, Caitlin Chadwick, Elena Camella, Rachel Fahey, Shana Fox, Nicole Jenkins, Taryn Johnson, Maria Jones, Molly Kaminsky, Juliet Cassis, Chelsea Kahn, Taylor Littlefield Longevin, Margaret Lederfein Pascal, Kelsey McGuire, Christina Mallory, Cecilia Malloy, Sean Murphy, Daniel O'Connell, Bree O'Donnell, Tivia Pudmanabhan, Kristen Robinson, Patrick Tabeji, Natasha Thea Golingham, Christina Sway, and Jacob Wagner. Thank you and congratulations again. All right. Our, um, our next award is for Outstanding Performance for Emergency Medicine. This is activity occurring during the clinical rotations. It's with great pleasure that I announce the winner of that award, Stephen Farrow. Congratulations, Stephen. Job well done. Our next award is presented by the Office of Clinical Education. This award recognizes that student for outstanding performance 
throughout the entirety of their clinical education experience. And that award goes to Gassar Ahmed. Congratulations, student Dr. Ahmed. So the next award we have is for New England Academy of Osteopathy. This is a really um, important award. It's a little older award. It comes from an outside um, view of the individuals who are in the classroom, who are uh, showing once again, progress, um, really uh, good affiliation and association with osteopathy and osteopathic manipulative medicine. So it combines two things, the osteopathic principles and practice and the ability to do the manipulative medicine in a way that um, not only um, helps the person themselves grow, but also serve their patient population and the students around them to help them. The um, happy to say the recipient of this award is Nika Carlson. Uh, we all are so happy for her. I can hear you applauding. Uh, the faculty uh, all put their votes in as did the fellows. And so I want to extend a warm congratulations. I want to thank all of you for coming to this award ceremony. It's an outstanding moment in time where we are able to honor our students. The first award is the University of New England College of Osteopathic Medicine Department of Osteopathic Manipulative Medicine Recognition Award. What does that translate into? That translates into students who show and excel um, interest and ability in performing osteopathic manipulative medicine, which is a core component of what it is to be an osteopathic physician. These individuals um, are people who can um, not only pick up the skill themselves, but also are able to relate that information and deliver um, skill set and teaching abilities to their co-students and their colleagues that are around them. The person that the faculty noticed and that um, was shining in the classroom uh, more frequently than not, uh, we are so happy to award this to Kelsey Hickey. She is um, a very deserving individual and we are so happy that she's getting this award. Uh, welcome to all. I have the privilege of presenting awards and recognizing the fellows uh, for the Anatomy and the Osteopathic Manipulative Medicine Fellowship uh, who have worked so hard, who work so very hard to uh, come and apply for a fellowship. We pick um, eight students out of a class of 175 to 180. So this just really um, underscores the importance of these individuals, the capacity of these individuals, and how much we are so thankful for them and how we depend on them. Uh, they are a crew who have gone through a unusual year. Uh, we started out normal, normal um, for them. And uh, as the year progressed and we went in through their entire fellowship, they went through the weathering of COVID the ways of adjusting and the ways of continuing to pursue. Um, these students become a liaison between the uh, student body and the faculty. They need to show maturity. They need to show self-initiation. They need to show growth and they need to show compassion. They have all fulfilled this um, beyond our dreams and they have been so um, delightful in succeeding within their um, their space. They take time to go down and go to the anatomy lab and work with the donors. Uh, and they are in there one on one with the students. They are in there with groups of students. They work with a outstanding um, anatomy professor who just keeps them moving. And if he sees that they've got more capacity, he asks them to perform at a higher level. These students never say no and they take on the workload. Um, up in the osteopathic manipulative medicine uh, lab, they are continuously teaching the students, sharing their insights with them, making them feel uh, more competent. They are uh, bridging the student from their beginning places into their next phase of being a mature physician. They are also uh, 
They are also required and asked to help with medical education. So not only are they uh, students themselves in the process of learning in a different position, but they are also helping all these other students. They walk in, they embrace it, they understand uh, what it's like to be a leader, they understand what it's like to support the leader. Uh, they, they are um, leads in class where they're delivering lectures and they are so um, delightful. They also have areas that are difficult for them, but they all work through it. So they're excellent team players. It is my great honor and great pleasure to uh, give this award to all of the fellows that are in the class of 2021. I will individually uh, list them and usually we have them come up to receive their award. You will receive your award, although it will not be here in this virtual environment. So my apologies. Um, the first person is Amar Wickerbody. The second one is Taryn C. Johnson. The next is James G. Cook. The following is Stephanie Elizabeth Nonowski. Following is Rachel R. Paquette. The next is Saray Allison Sager. Christina Sue. And the next is Christian Voto. You have all done such an outstanding job. And I know you'll continue to succeed and do so well. You bring such a spirit, not only to yourself, but the people around you. And I'm sure it translates to the patients that you treat. All of us from the anatomy and the osteopathic manipulative medicine department, give you a sincere congratulations and wish you well. On behalf of the university's Center for Excellence in Collaborative Education, I am here to acknowledge our students from the Unicom class of 2021 who are receiving the Center for Excellence in Collaborative Education Honors Distinction. They are receiving this cord for their efforts towards skill development in the following competencies. One, working with individuals of other professions to maintain a climate of mutual respect and shared values. Two, using the knowledge of one's own role and those of other professions to appropriately assess and address the healthcare needs of patients and to promote and advance the health of populations. Three, communicating with patients, families, communities, and professionals in health and other fields in a responsive and responsible manner that supports a team approach to the promotion and maintenance of health and the prevention and treatment of disease. And four, applying relationship building values and the principles of team dynamics to perform effectively in different team roles to plan, deliver, and evaluate patient and population-centered care, and population health programs and policies that are safe, timely, efficient, effective, and equitable. To obtain the Center for Excellence in Collaborative Education Honors Distinction, a student must be in one of the university's health profession programs, they must participate in three of the program's events and write a reflection to each. They must work on a team to create a project which they present at a campus-wide forum that synthesizes and communicates what they learned in one of the primary interprofessional activities like the Mercy Pain Clinic or the interprofessional team immersion. And they must complete an interprofessional portfolio that is reviewed and then approved by a faculty mentor and the Center for Collaborative Education. Our students receiving this honor will be seen by our profession as physicians who have made a commitment to collaboration and they will carry these learned skills with them into the next stage of their careers in medicine. This year's recipients include Archana Unandakrishnan, Seth Butler, Alina Chima, Justin 
Doroshenko, Haley Eskovitz, Lauren Lever, Christina Mallory, Melissa Mariano, Stephanie Nunoski, Divya Padamanaban, Olivia Spicer, Jane Saw, Osavie Wajiren. To each of you, from all of us at Unicom and CC, build your teams and restore health to healthcare. The next award is the Maine AHEC Scholar Honors Distinction Award. The Maine Area Health Education Center would like to congratulate the College of Osteopathic Medicine Class of 2021 and take this time to specifically acknowledge the graduates who have completed the Maine AHEC Scholar Care for the Underserved Pathway Honors Distinction Program. Over the past two years, these students have been part of an elite group of health career students accepted into the National AHEC Scholars Program. This innovative program is designed as a national initiative for preparing future healthcare providers to become leaders in addressing the challenges of our nation's population health needs for diversity, distribution, and transformation of practice in primary care. These students have completed a rigorous 160 hour curriculum designed to prepare students to work with underserved populations. The following students will be awarded the Maine AHEC Scholar Honors Distinction Cord and a certificate from the National AHEC Organization, recognizing them for their efforts. Kareem Abdel Jalil, Taxia Arabatsis, Shena Benish, Christina Carlson, Roger Carter, Jamie Chan, Samanda Culver, Christine Emanuel, Haley Eskovitz, Kelsey Hickey, Stephen Kerban, Philip Lee, Lauren Lever, Andrea Lopez, Christina Renodin Mallory, Justine Monthony Eaton, Victoria Wynn. Stephanie Nanowski, Taylor Willett, Rachel Paquette, Giuliani Scaini, Emily Schaefer, Olivia Spicer, Samuel Stratton, Christina Sapino, Benjamin Thomas, Christina Sway. On behalf of Maine AHEC, we wish each of you success as you transition into the healthcare workforce. The National AHEC Organization and the Maine AHEC will always remain a valued resource for you as you strive to transform healthcare and foster healthy communities throughout the nation. Leadership Awards. Sponsored by the Unicom Office of Recruitment Student and Alumni Services for outstanding leadership and service during four years of enrollment. Every year, this is a very challenging award to award to recipients in the, class, the graduating class. We are blessed with a student body that continues to live their passions as they enroll in our academic institution. They don't just check them at the doors when they arrive at school. From the first days they begin on campus to the last ones, all of our students are integrally involved in our community, whether it is the community at the University of New England campus, the community of Biddeford, the surrounding Portland, Saco, Old Orchard Beach area, or the areas where they are located for their clinical campuses. We are so much richer by the involvement of our student body, and it is always a very difficult activity to engage in to select those individuals for recognition. This year, we have a number of recipients that we would like to recognize for their leadership 
at the University of New England College of Osteopathic Medicine and the role that they have gone on to participate in throughout other professional organizations with, with which they have been associated. I'm going to read all of the names and then I'm going to go back and say a little bit about each of those individuals. So this year's recipients are Samantha Foster Culper, Justin Daniel Dorshenko, Stephen Joseph Farrow, Matthew Allen Hurd, Megan Elizabeth Yastrzemski, Maria Dorothy Jones, Kevin Kong Lee, Divya Lakshmi Padmunavan. Samantha Foster Culver has been very involved in the Student Osteopathic Medical Association. She reinvigorated the campus chapter and went on to hold a national office. We are very, very excited for all the contributions that she has made to our community and she has participated in the Longitudinal Integrated Curriculum as a third year student as well. Justin Daniel Dorshenko has been involved in emergency medicine activities, helping that chapter to be recognized as a national leader in the past four years, as well as been very, very involved in documenting and curating all of the information about COVID that has come out through the past year. Stephen Joseph Farrow has been a member of our community, very involved in the mental health and student support activities of our institution, starting a student support group for first year and students and beyond, and being a role model for our current first year students as they reinvigorate the peer support group. Matthew Allen Hurd has been a true volunteer, earning the hallmark of his undergraduate alma mater by being a volunteer in every activity that he is involved in. We thank him for his contributions as he has worked with the candidates who have applied for school, through school, and serving as a student interviewer. Megan Elizabeth Yastrzemski, has served as the class president and has led the group through some very challenging and invigorating times. We thank you for your service, Megan. Maria Dorothy Jones has served as the Student Government Association president, was elected the Unicom Student DO of the Year Award recipient, and has gone on to serve her community not only in elected offices, but also serving as a curriculum advisory committee representative for the current fourth year class. Kevin Kong Lee is the vice president of the current class and has been instrumental in reframing the role of the student site liaisons as they serve their students as peers during their third year. And then Divya Lakshmi Padmudaban has been very involved in the activities as it relates to geriatrics education, representing her colleagues as a member of the Student Government Association and being an advocate on behalf of students who are involved with EDAC, which is the Education Diversity and Equity Committee of the College of Osteopathic Medicine. Thank you all for the service and the contributions that you have given. And to all those that we could not recognize by the recipient of this year's award, please know that your contributions have been immeasurable and have made us a much better place. Thank you all for your service. We couldn't do it without you. Good afternoon. I'm presenting the Dean's Leadership Award. This award is presented to the student who must be a member of the senior class and have demonstrated dedication and given significant contributions and service to support the advancement and curriculum of the academic mission of UNECOM across the continuum of medical education. This award is being presented to Kareem Jalil. Congratulations. We are so appreciative of everything that you have done for UNECOM. This next award is the University of New England College of Osteopathic Medicine Alumni Association Award. This award is a member of the graduating class who demonstrates exemplary teamwork, school and professional pride, and service to the University of New England College of Osteopathic Medicine and to the profession. 
So we had obviously a lot of qualified candidates and the person who will receive this award for 2021 is Jacob Robert Longfellow. Congratulations, Jacob. You well deserve this award and we wish you well. Hello everyone, I'm honored to be presenting the Unicom Class of 2021 class gift. Each year, the graduating class determines a way to contribute to or give back to the college or the students coming behind us. This year, the Class of 2021 would like to contribute to an outdoor gathering and lunch space at the new Calm campus coming to Portland for future students to enjoy. While this gift is being given by the class as a whole, it will be done so in loving memory of Deanne. Many of us remember Deanne chatting away, soaking up the sunlight and sitting outside any chance she can get. We hope that this gift helps to provide others with a space to do the same. Good afternoon. The New Hampshire Osteopathic Association is pleased to make this presentation to a member of the class of 2021 who most exemplifies the osteopathic concepts. By their active role with the osteopathic tenant that the body is a unit and the person is a unit of body, mind, and spirit. Their work in the mental health field is a prime example of their belief that the mind is a huge part of wellness. Recipient has been involved as an osteoblast and orientation leader at UNE COM, COM. Emphasis in community involvement, nutrition education, agitating for healthcare access for the underserved and representing the needs of the underserved and serving as a role model for those going into medicine. Just a bit about another remarkable individual that this award is named after. This is an editorial from the Manchester Union leader back in September of 1979 when Jack uh, passed. It's entitled Dr. Jack Parfit Adventurer. Dr. Jack Parfit, who died last weekend in Manchester was a most remarkable individual. Being an osteopath, his profession kept him tied down to an indoor office most of the time, but he always found time to devote to his great loves of travel and adventure and managed not only to find both, but then record them in fine photographs. Readers of the Sunday news were beneficiary of the beneficiaries of the doctor's interests many times over the last two decades. We recall an instance a few years ago when a spectacular volcano was making big news in Iceland. Who should walk into the Sunday news office during that time but Dr. Jack to offer us and our readers some breathtaking photos of that event at no charge as was his penchant. When he wasn't tending to the aches and pains of bruised athletes or chasing around the globe in search of adventure, Dr. Jack was at home with and master of a cribbage board. His partners dating back to his college days at Bates in Maine included Senator Ed Muskie and the two got together annually for a rematch. Jack Parfit was a gentleman and a lover of life who lived life to the fullest. Our condolences to his family and many friends J. W. McQuaid. And the recipient of this year's Parfit Award, consisting of a plaque from UNE and a check, generous check from the New Hampshire Osteopathic Association, is Mark Joshua Gottmaitan Bernardo. Congratulations, Mark, and success in your future endeavors. Thank you very much. Hello, uh, congratulations to all the graduates. I know you're all excited for this weekend and for the big event. 
and then moving on to your residencies and 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 having some time to spend with your family in between, hopefully. Um, my job is to uh, present the Souter Award, and it's actually, as far as I'm concerned, it's my favorite award, and I think it's one of the best awards. The um, award is, uh, or the person that receives the award is nominated by the faculty as the student that they would most likely like to see as their primary care physician to care for their family. And so it's, I think it's a pretty um, impressive award because it means that this student has left an incredible impression with all of the faculty um, at the university. I'd like to read you some comments that were associated with this individual. This person is such an open-minded and culturally aware, aware person. She will treat all her patients well, regardless of their ethnicity or sexual identity. She is smart, humble, caring, professional, and always accountable. I look forward to joining her patient panel when she finally completes her residency. She has a pleasant can-do attitude and is someone who keeps trying to problem solve in the face of adversity. I know she will fight for her patients. She's intelligent, personable, she has passion and, com and compassion and has been involved in access to care issues long before it was fashionable. This is someone I would want to take care of my family if there ever was a need to do so. And all of these things quite clearly um, represent this candidate. Along with this award comes a check for $3,000 so you can have a little bit of a celebration. And so congratulations to Melissa Garrett Mariano for the Souter Award.